What's going on people? I just want to make a quick video. I'm so tired of the so-called Me Too movement females. I'm so tired of these feminists that's always attacking or trying to find reasons to attack men. Now, there was a female that posted this meme on Facebook. And of course, I had to respond. And my only response was, what does Trump have to do with these individual cases. And then of course, you had some feminist female decide to wanna to attack me. And you know, they are the ones that always wanna start calling you outside of your name. I try to be nice until you get to that point where you start attacking me verbally. And then I'm gonna attack back. And nine times out of 10, you're not gonna like what I have to say, because I can get extremely nasty. Now I know I sound real nice, and I seem real nice when it comes to my video, but trust me, when you cross the line, I can get extremely nasty with you and care less about your feelings, right? So be careful when you try to come at me in the wrong way, because I'm not gonna have no kind of respect for you or your family, all right? So let's just try to keep this cordial. Now, as you see on this meme, it says, Trump's friend raped 50 underage girls. And then they have wealthy white man raped five year old girl. And then it's got, this guy got 90 days in jail. He's got 90 days house arrest. And then this dude, white cop raped handcuffed woman, 90 days in jail. Now, this girl right here, I was gonna make a separate video about this. 16 year old girl defends herself from rape. She gets 51 years in prison. Now, they're looking at that. They're looking to kind of overturn that. They're working on that case now. But the thing with her case is, this alleged 16 year old girl, which is now in her 30s, was prostituting herself. Now, some people may say, well, it doesn't matter. Um, that still doesn't give anyone the right to rape her um, or to beat her or whatever, whatever your excuses is. But that comes along with the job. It's like a boxer, a fighter. When you get inside that ring, anything can happen, even at the point of death. There are boxers that have taken a punch that messed them up psychologically for the rest of their days. And then there are boxers that got punched in the ring and lost their life. So when you choose to go down a certain rabbit hole, be prepared to deal with whatever consequences may, that may come as a result of your choices. She chose, now I question, where were the parents? For all we know, she could have been some disrespectful teen that didn't want to hear anything any adult had to say because she's 16 and you know how the laws are when it comes to 16 year olds. So your 16 year old can basically run your house and there's nothing you can do about it. You can't put them out because they're 16. Right? And if they choose not to go to school, there's nothing you can say about that because they're 16. And you have a lot of 16 year olds that's being taught and guided by other 16 year olds in their classroom or in her, in her circle. And then she's gonna come back and try to tell you what's good for her life. You can't tell me what to do with my life. Right? Now, before some of y'all come at me with what if it was your daughter? Or what if it was your granddaughter? Well, first of all, she's got my granddaughter, for example, has got, she's got just so much covering. She's got covering on just about in every angle, right? So she's good. But if she gets up to a certain age where she makes a choice and decision for herself after knowing what is right and what is wrong, I can't fault no one but her for making that choice. 
it's like if you tell your child, you know, dad, can I go to a party? And your dad says no, because see, your dad's answer is going to be different from the mother's answer, because the dad, because of the fact that he's the house, he's the head of the household, and he's the masculine one, right? See, masculinity is your savior, right? And he sees things that your mother can't see, because she sees from a loving, caring, soft, you know, um, perspective. Dad, on the other hand, is going to say no because he's going to see the worst. I don't want you going. So then you get behind the dad's back and you, mom, can I go? So the mother says go. All right? You go because your mom said it was okay. Now that's going to create division between the mother and the father because the father said no. The moms turn around and said yes because she thinks she's woman, she's powerful, and she's got just about... Uh, the same amount of rights as the as the man does to raise and guide their daughter. So the daughter goes out there and get raped, or she come up missing, or end up being sold into sex trafficking. Now everybody's got her little innocent picture, looking like she's tearful, saying that oh that's too bad, but she's 16, but she did not listen to what her father said. She decided to go out go completely against what the father said. There was a, a story I shared before, and this is kind of off my topic, but off on my topic, and it's meant to be said. There was a situation where this girl wanted to go to spring break in Florida. And she went to the father and had asked the father, is it okay if I go to spring break? The father said, no, you can't go. Well, why can't I go? Everybody gets to go and yada, 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 yada. I'm going to get back on the, on the original topic. So she's like crying and pouting and carrying on. I never get to go anywhere. And she hates the dad. And so she goes to the moms. And she asks the mother, can I go to spring break? All my friends are going to be there. Everybody is going to be there. So the mother says yes. So, and even pays for it. So this girl goes on spring break. Well, on the way to spring break, the bus is in an accident. The girl lost her life, and this is a true story. As a matter of fact, I counsel both parents, the mother and the father, because the father ended up hating the mother. He hated the mother because he felt that if the mother had not have told the daughter yes, something completely different than what he said, the daughter would still be alive. She might have been angry and upset, but she still would have been alive. And he couldn't understand, he could not forgive his wife because after he told her no, she could not go, the mother turned around and said yes and even paid for it. Therefore, her mother gave her daughter over to death. So now, they were like just split. He hated her, he wanted nothing to do with her, didn't want to hear anything that she had to say. I don't care how many tears she shed, right? She cried and was like, I'm sorry, I didn't know, and yada, yada, yada. And he says, you know I said she cannot go. There's a reason why I said she can't go. And see, that's because dads can see things that moms can't, right? That's where that masculinity is your savior comes in. Because it seems like sometimes dad is unfair and you know, and he's mean and he won't let me do anything. But if your father says no, especially if he grew up in the hood, you know, or he grew up in that life or knowing about that life, there's a reason why he said no, right? So it's always good to listen to your dad, man. Even when you don't feel your dad is correct, listen to him. He didn't get that age for not, right? That's how why he's able to live as long as he lived because of the fact that he made choices. He may have made bad choices in his life, but he's still alive. A lot of y'all are making choices and you think you're making better choices than your parents and they're gone, they're dead or they're paralyzed in wheelchairs. 
because they went against what their parents said. So, when it comes to this case right here, I was going to do a separate video on this. And she looked all innocent, but she was prostituting herself. She prostituted herself to this guy. And it's just like when you go on that website, and I hear a lot of people talk about it on YouTube. I hear a lot of people talk about ghetto gaggers, right? And the things that they do to those females, those black women, I'm not even calling women, those black females on ghetto, ghetto gaggers. And you got black females that see that and still go. Taking that kind of abuse. abuse. So when something like that happens, I'm not going to say, you know, um, they deserve it or whatever. It's 12 o'clock. Because nobody deserves rape or to be beaten or whatever. But if you put yourself in that situation, you just can't expect people to feel sorry for you. For choices and decisions that you made yourself. Nobody's talking about the fact that she was a prostitute and that she was being paid for that, right? So, and she's being young as she was, she's easily taken advantage of. And only God above knows if her parents even knew where she was. Did she run away? Call herself living at a friend's house? Because you got little girls that do that. They don't want to listen to the rules of the house, so they, I'm going to live with my friend. Her mom says I can come and live with her. So then she goes out and live with this stranger, a stranger to the moms, and next thing you know, they thinking like, hey, well, you know what? You gotta pay your keep here. So you know what? Um, you gotta sell yourself. And next thing you know, they have you out there prostituting yourself. So you would have a place to stay. Or because of the fact that you refuse to follow rules in your parents' house. Anyway, back to my original topic and maybe that was meant to be said maybe what I said was meant to be said because there's a lot of bullheaded women out there a lot of bullheaded young girls out there and even boys just bullheaded don't want to listen to common sense man just think you know it all but this female she put these memes down here and but it started out with Trump's friends so my question was, would it be fair to say that the negative choices or criminal choices that your friend made, would it be fair to say that, would it be fair to judge you according to the bad choices that your friends make? And of course, she kind of like went around the question like, you don't understand what I'm talking about and Yada yada, these girls were raped and they were abused and they were raped and they was raped and these powerful white men and then she went into the Me Too nonsense and the feminist nonsense and all this other nonsense. And I told her to stop being a hypocrite. Because you got a lot of these females out here are, are hypocrites. And I'm going to tell you black females something. Y'all need to stop following these hypocritical white women. Because they put up a little, uh, a little white girl or white man's face and and start playing on your emotions, talking about this little girl was raped, but yet nobody is talking about all of the black women that were taken in captivity, in slavery, your ancestors that was raped. See, that's why y'all don't know who you are to this day, because you were raped. You could be sitting next to your brother and sister in class and don't even know, because you were raped. Your mom was raped right in front of the dad, right in front of the kids. Everybody was sitting there watching you get raped at gunpoint. The dad couldn't do nothing. He was helpless, right? But nobody's talking about, and white women were in favor of that rape that was going on in slavery. White females were in favor of black women being raped in captivity. They knew that their husbands were raping these slave women and that's how these light-skinned kids were being born in slavery, right? So you may have somebody working in the field, better yet, he was in the house. He or she was in the house, biracial, because that's a slave master's child. Why was it that slave master's child? Because that slave master raped all of those, the women, the little girls. If he saw something he wanted, because to them, you meant nothing. 
There was no price to you. You meant nothing. The dogs, the animals had more rights than you had. But when you start talking reparations, they don't want to talk about that. See, why are these women getting reparations? Then that's what I call it, reparation. When you got people like Cosby and these females are coming out of the past and he's now in prison and these females are getting, getting money. They were compensated, even though I believe many of them were lying and proof had came out that they were lying. But they were, they received reparations. But all of these slaves, the, the descendants of slaves, and that's why blacks are acting like they are, is because of the fact that their grandparents and their great-grandparents and their great-great-grandparents and nieces and aunts and nephews and brothers and sisters had been raped by these white men, but nobody's talking about that. So black women don't need to be teaming up with these white chicks, man, talking about Me Too movement and talking about um, the feminist movement. You don't need to team up with them because it's not about you. Another way that they're hypocritical is, and I mentioned this, is like, okay, so you have a power, you have a problem with these powerful white men that's got money that's raping, but yet you're okay with a powerful white man with a white robe scraping your unborn baby out of your womb. So you're in favor of that, that helpless baby that's in your womb, you support abortion, but you care, you claim to care so much about these little girls, these little children that's being raped, and you don't even care about your own blood seed that's being scraped out of your womb. You're not talking about that. You're in favor for women, it's okay for a woman to murder her unborn child. But just don't, you know, own, and, and keep in mind, the only people they talk about that's being raped are powerful white men. So what about the men that's not so powerful? What about the ones that's not connected to Trump? You don't care about them? You don't talk about them? What was the purpose of putting up this meme and starting out with Trump's friends? So what does that have to do with Trump? Right? And if you really want to talk about rape, talk about rape on every level, even when it comes to these white females, these school teachers, that's raping these little boys in school. Nobody's talking about that. What about the Me Too movement? You don't, you don't hear not one time the Me Too movement talk about these little boys that's being raped by these, that's being raped by these white women in class that had just, had not been caught yet. There's a lot of young boys that's being raped by their teacher and, it, and they hadn't even been caught. They hadn't been caught yet. You hadn't heard about it yet. We hear about one or two here, you know, and they may do a little jail time. But nobody's talking about these females that's raping these little boys. You don't hear about that. But they're quick to put the face of a white man up there or a man up there talking about how bad and evil these men are. And for you dudes out there, man, that's, that team up with this Me Too and this feminist movement, shame on you, man. You deserve anything to come at you in the negative. You deserve it, man, because you decide to take a hold of that demonic plow and team up with these demons, right? So feedback, tell me what you think. Just because you see Trump's name on the something or because he's friends with somebody, allegedly, because we don't know if these are his friends, right? She just put Trump's friend. He raped 50 underage girls. We talk about that all, all the time. And you guys, especially you guys that are, are supporting open borders, you're supporting open borders and there's sex trafficking these little children across these open borders, but yet you want to talk about some little girl being raped. If you really care about girls being raped or being sex trafficked, you would want them borders closed. You'd want that wall built, but because of your hate for that one man, now you got to fight against it. You know, you don't want open borders. Let everybody in. Feed everybody. We don't care. Let our children starve and just feed all of these illegal immigrants that don't come in the right way, that's stealing their way into this country. You guys are twisted and messed up, man. It's like this, this country is too far gone, man. The mindset of the people in this country is so brainwashed, it's just too far gone. It's just too far gone. You can't, you can't save it. You know, you can't save it because the brainwashing is just too deep man it's too heavy people are so far gone 
that they can't be saved, you find yourself in an argument, man, just saying, what does Trump have to do with that? And before you realize, you got somebody that's going to start posting all of these, these, these articles from, from fake news sites, stuff that's from 1932, right? Well, this is Trump's great, 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 great grandmother, and he was a KKK, all this other nonsense, you know, but you claim to care about these underage girls as being raped, but you're born your babies. Explain that to me. So feedback, tell me what you think. Till next time. I'm just thinking out loud.